Hope you all can see my face. <laughs> Good morning, collective. How are you guys? Is freezing balls where I live. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Jenna. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Gemini Lion Gate, port 888. Welcome. Um, yeah, this is a channel where I channel messages from your guys to my guys using divination, okay? When I say divination, I mean tarot cards, pendulums, the whole shebang. Shebang, shebang. Remember that song from Ricky? Is it Ricky Martin? Issues. There's another song I've been having in my head. It's all, it's all a dream. Was that Tupac? Or is it all eyes on me? But didn't he say something in the lyrics? Is all, it was all a dream. Maybe someone thought everything was just a dream. About a girl that's shabang, shabang. <laughs> I use signs. I use... My dreams, I use my intuition, I do, um, yeah, I roll the dice here, I do, yeah, whatever, I'll get the messages out there for you, alright, collective, that being said, this used to burn beautifully, and I don't know why it won't burn anymore. There we go. Got some cinnamon going. Oh, perfect. All right. So, Collective, thank you for viewing my channel and people that have been subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me. Um, yeah. You have no idea. Here pretty soon, guess what? I'm gonna be able to do live readings. So get ready, collective. Live readings, something that we've been waiting for, I've been waiting for, so you guys could watch me live, okay? I do personal readings as well. You know, just hit me up on Gemini Lion Gate Port 888 and I will give you more information on that, okay? Um. Keep in mind, these are general messages, so only take what feels familiar, sounds familiar, situation, events are familiar to you, okay? The rest, please leave for the next collective. Being the collective, my collective, I do expect you, and I do um, trust your intuition. Remember, energy will be past, present, and future. Flip where you need to. This could be either about you or someone that is either in or directly involved with you, if that makes sense, like say like a third party or a friend or something so depending on so much people are projecting and speaking of that or sending negative vibes your way we are going to cleanse our energy right now i'm going to ask um archangel michael can you please um, cleanse my energy i ask you to send back any arrows of doubt uh negative um, comments, people that try to leave, um, any heavy projection, word curses, black magic chanting, um, back to center times 10. Thank you for that, Archangel Michael. I also pray that you keep me and the collective and our families and our children safe from all these crazy individuals that do hate on us. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to crack. Let's just have a smoke out. Okay. Let's see what pendulum. I cleanse my energy as well. Does one have a knot in them? No. Okay. I want to cleanse my pendulum's energy. Pendulum, pendulum's brown. You know what to do, pendulum. Stop when you're cleansed. 
Yeah, you're pretty close. Are you ready to go, Pendulum? You're all knotted up as well. I make my own little pendulums. Here pretty soon, I'll be, no, I'll probably still be making my own pendulums if I even have money. <laughs> I'm that type of person where even if I have money, I'm like, I still won't spend it on, I don't know, it's just weird like that. That's a good little piece of it. All you really need to do is make a pendulum is get a stone like this. This is black obsidian. Are you ready to go pendulum? And then this one I put a bead on top of it with a chain so I could hold it. This is actually, I like this bead because it's squared. Okay, you ready to go? Cool. Can you spin around to show them what it looks like for maybe the collective? So when the pendulum spins around like this, this is a maybe. Can you show them a no pendulum? Thank you. So horizontal is a no and vertical is a yes. Okay. Cleanse my energy, cleanse my cards. Okay, my crown chakra so I can get these messages. My throat chakra so I could speak the truth. My heart chakra so I could have nothing but the pure tent when I'm doing these readings, okay? My root chakra to keep me grounded. So wash any negative, anything that could have been sticking to me. And let's just put it back down to Mother Earth. For the ground, the earth. God, the creator, will know what to do with that negative energy, okay? All right, let's start this. Let's get you collective there. <laughs> Alrighty. You're gonna annoy me back there. Okay. Where's the dice? Where's the dice? I do not even think about the dice there, Collective. What did I do with the dice? Put everything away last night, cause I'm like, where's the dice? Oh, duh, it's like in my freaking face. I love my little deer. So the deer is my spirit animal. Um, yeah, I'm a Gemini, so it would be my zodiac sign. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I just realized that I'm missing some of these zodiac signs. to look for them last night but it's not a big deal right now because we gotta get this video on the go collective so I'll use something else until I can find the rest of those I have my little portable
Yeah, they're in here. I can feel them. Sorry, I have kind of like a... Yeah, they're in here. You know how like when your car is like you can just feel and you know how much, I don't know. You know my tarot readers out there. You know what I'm talking about. It's like you feel a deck of cards are like, okay, there's too many in here and there's too less. So. I knew they were in here. I want to feel them now. Yeah, there's still some in here. I bet you there's one. Sorry, I'm just like, I don't know. When I have my mind set on something, it's like, I, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. But it's also my channel to do what the fuck I want to do. So if you don't like it, get on. I do cuss. I do smoke, by the way. So, so smoke cigarettes. Sometimes that offends people, you know, la di da. So... Let's see if I'm wrong. So I'm not always right, you know? Guess I was wrong. Let me feel it now. Okay, yeah, I know. I got them. Okay. I don't know. I like these little Zodiac ones. Well, it kind of gives me a better feeling or like clarifications about like who could be involved or, you know, Maybe even sometimes what day of the week. It's always, yeah, I'm learning a lot about astrology. So, um, please keep that in mind. I do keep my phone here, so, like, I'm not up here just bullshitting my way when it comes to that, you know? So, let's get into the reading. Mm. Mm. For heaven's sake. All right, let's see here. Five, six, seven, this could be about a relationship. Yeah, seven. Is that 7-Eleven? 7-Eleven! Woo! You got 7-Eleven. You got luck and money coming in. Go to Vegas! No, I'm just kidding. No, seriously, 7-Eleven represents um, good fortune coming your way. So if you see 7 if you might be seeing 7-Eleven a lot, it's because literally you might like win the lottery. You might get some type of money in the mail or maybe someone owes you money and they just, you know, all expect was just going to be in your mailbox. That type of money. It's going to be unexpected. That's pretty dope. Someone's not doing well. Vertigo's in the, in the, in the red though, the sixth house. So the sixth house talks about like your health, your well-being. Who could possibly, why? Okay, so you're doing something very well with your hobbies, your creativity, you're very innovated, okay? Very ambitious here. Uh, the fifth house really talks about what you do for fun. Literally, you might be going to Vegas or you might be going to Cripple, where I live, it's called Cripple Creek or Black Hawk, and you might be winning some money playing games. It's the house of games, the fifth house. That's what I'm getting here. So you won out a game. I don't know if this is the game of life, or the game of whatever, but it will bring you money. Okay? For sure. Because you listen to your ancestors. With your family. You might be going into Las Vegas with your family. Okay? Commun Gemini energy. So I got Gemini with the third house. Communication, thinking, information. You're highly intelligent. Leo, Gemini, Leo. What's up, Gemini Leos? <laughs> and Cancer. So you could be Gemini Cancer. For sure, like a cusper. With Leo in your chart. Very confident, very driven. Now, the reason why my channel is called Gemini Lion Gate, people get a little confused with that, is because my big spiritual awakening was through the Lion Gate portal. 
okay? That's why I call my Gemini Lion Gate, because I'm a Gemini. But someone's not doing well. I think I'm always gonna read the red as someone else because is this a collective? I don't, this is never your energy when it's in the red. Is this six house the collective? Uh. Let's see. Let's see here, because I was going to use six anyways for the thing. So I got five, six, oh, well, I got seven. So this could be about relationship, Libra energy. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Secrets, the house of secrets of information. So, oh, definitely with the Gemini. Someone is holding some type of information back or was. Um, but your ancestors could be telling you about this, and this could be about a room full of money. And someone is not doing well mentally, physically, emotionally. They're not doing well. Vertigo, they're unpure, they're uncleansed. Because vertigo is my virgin, you know, and I'm not talking about the vert, like you guys are virgins. If you are, that's cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, like, vertigo energy is about peering, it's about purification. And this person, I don't know why I'm getting this, this person is uncleansed. Didn't know how to cleanse their energy correctly, so they could be sick. Or maybe some type of black magic backfiring on this person, so they're really confused and delusional. Okay? Even like I, I talk about this all the time on my channel, because I got my angels and demon cards. And I was very compelled to do that. And people don't understand, even if you're hating, if you're the most religious person, say that you believe in God, if you hate someone, you're conjuring on a demon. Okay, plain and simple. Even if you don't believe, if you believe in the Bible, you have to believe in the devil. Like, you can't say one or not the other. And I cannot express this enough. People that are divination or psychics, they're not of the devil. It's like history repeating itself, you know? The apostles, the disciples, you know, they were... I. Because I've been, you know, I read a little bit and trying to learn about the Bible. And it's, um, they sound like psychics. People that prophesize, you know. Jesus. Well, he was the son of God. But, you know, he, he had, that's what psychics are. They tap into that other seven levels of heaven. You know. Now, some people do use their, you know, for black magic. But just because people are witches... Which I'm not a witch. I have nothing against white witches. You know. Um, people get that. I don't know why I'm talking about this. People get that all fucked up. You know. Like I say the word ritual. And everyone's like oh she's a witch. I'm like no. I've always. I like I, I met medicine women. Like I said I've been around medicine women. In my life. And these are medicine women that you can't. Find. They don't have a Facebook. They don't have a YouTube channel. They're not out there for a clout. They're out there really healing people. You know? Like I said, I met a medicine man and a medicine woman on the, on the bad side of town. Cooking tortillas and healing people on their couch. You know? That's the type of healer. That's a real healer right there in my eyes. Let's see. What's going on? What's the sixth house? So a Pisces or their secrets out. The twelfth house right here talks about uh, the house of information that's being withheld. A low vibrational Libra. Okay? The seventh house right there. So you could have been in a relationship with a Libra or there was a Libra that was involved with your relationship. Take it how it resonates. Pisces, because you're on the upright Pisces. Something was very injustice very unfair Leo you're confident you're brave you're ambitious you're sitting here on the throne you're the queen and king of the jungle 
because you bring order to chaos with Saturn energy. You, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, another Libra, but on the upright. You're very informative. You're very intelligent with air signs, air thinking. You're very highly intelligent and confident. And I'm talking to a Sagittarius. Aries on the upright, Sagittarius on the upright, Pisces, Leo, and a Sag, Mercury. Something about time, time and order, divine timing order here. Technology as well. Godfather time. Someone could have been traveling, being adventurous, or you are very adventurous. The Leo and Aries, Sagittarius, there's three fire signs out here just super ambitious, highly intelligent, and people might find you very secretive as well. With the Libra being reversed, that just tell me that there is some type of injustice here. So I have a piece of um, desert rose court. And you, you can, you canite, you canite, you canite is pretty cool because look, it's um, pink and green. Okay. What's this reading gonna be about? Someone does something really unfair when it comes to your seventh house. I'm getting that as well. And that's how, why you're going to get a windfill of money? Oh, this is reading going to be about. Give me some birthdays. Let me do it one more time because it's like... I'm not a very good dealer. Or shuffler, sorry. Dealer. Someone's going to Vegas. Someone likes to gamble. There's a gambler out here. Seven, again. You could be a life path number seven, which you're a type of person that is definitely religious spiritual you have some type of faith practice for sure if you don't i suggest you do because life path number sevens that is your purpose and if you do not have some type of belief system you will usually life path number sevens don't do good without having some type of belief system they'll really go into some type of shamble addiction drinking gambling sex addiction Seven of clubs. Let's see here. Let's get some birthdays out here. Yeah, keep your eyes open, Collective. I'm going to be doing some live readings. Okay, I'm so excited. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but thank you for everyone that haven't been viewing the channel. Okay, if you're here, please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. All right, it does help the channel grow. No, I don't need you guys to subscribe to the channel for me to collect on your energy, but I'm just asking nicely because it is pretty fucking awesome if you would. <laughs> Seven of Clubs. Birthdays. Buffalo? I don't know why that came out. Someone could be called Buffalo? Buff? Okay, we got a lot of birthdays out here um, associated with this card. So seven is the most mystical of all numbers. You know that, okay? The hardest to understand or the most beautiful and rewarding influence in anyone's life. One of the tree of life is the seven spears of victory. I was just saying that. The seven levels of heaven. The seven levels of hell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to take away this mercury. Yeah, this is about your seventh house, a Libra, or something that's very unfair when it came to your seventh house. Seven, 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 you were definitely on an awakening, or you will have an awakening. 
or have another one here soon. And when you do, you're gonna have a windfall of money when this comes through. Seven of clubs is an expression that can be fine. Okay, wait, wait. So seven of spirits of victory, right? So you're like reaching your seven levels of spiritual awakenings, okay? Seven's a perfect number and difficult to live up to in this requirement of perfection. Seven's the number of our soul. There's no young souls with the seven of birth cards. So you're definitely an old soul. Seven of clubs exact expressions can be found in the realm of inspired knowledge. The plan to cultivate their great, great gifts of intuition and listen carefully to it. Told you, highly intelligent, you listen to spirit. Seven of clubs is a great power behind it. The power that's not just gives them the opportunity to exercise right of judgment and values, which with the Libra being in reverse, if that was being blocked for you. But secures their protection when unfairness applied. I cannot make this up. It says the power that not just gives the opportunity to access, exercise right judgment of values, but secures their protection when unfairness is applied. They often worry about finances, but they can always make good money if they work for it. Many seven of clubs do work, but periodically they get into the panic of get into some unwise investments and great rich quick schemes that leaves them weaker than ever. Mm. Yeah, so I'm talking to a gambler for sure. Okay, um, that's just a warning for some of you guys, especially, um, let me get your birthdays. Don't, uh, cause yeah, you don't want to get caught up gambling here cause, um, well, I don't know. Cause you got 7-Eleven, so you'd be, okay. So definitely an Aries, that's March 29th, a Taurus, May 25th, a Gemini, June 23rd, a Cancer, July 21st, a Cancer Leo, there you are, Cancer Leo, August 19th. Okay. Also just the Leo. September 17th, a Vertigo. So there could be a vertigo born on September 17th that is sick or not doing well. And a Libra born on October 15th that did something unjust. November 13th, Scorpio. December 11th for the Sagittarius. It's the quick scheme card. So someone took a gamble here. Now, if this life path number seven took a gamble, I don't know. To do something like. Let me get some names. I always look at like the famous people. So someone's name could be Amanda, Laura, Jack, Jacqueline, Jack, Jack, Joaquin, or something, Jackie, Jacqueline, Dave, Davey, Ace Young, Edmund, James, wow, that's my cousin's name, Jean, Flynn, James, someone's name could be like a Mick in it. Chris, Austin, Demetra or Dimitri, Zapatea, Kurt, Cobain, <laughs> Maya, Robert, Brian, but B R I A N, Alan, Jimmy, Jim, Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix, Janice, Jan, Janice, Jim. Ronald and definitely Dave Alexandra or Alex Paul could be significant Joan Janice Joni Christopher Christy Okay, those could be some people's names or your guys's names Middle names Last names, take it how it resonates. Mm. 
And then I got a really little pretty piece of, I got little pieces today. This is, um, got a lot of opals, so definitely someone's born in August. Um, this is a really pretty piece of green and orange opal. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, it's real. This is actually really rare. It's really pretty. I made a pendulum out of one, out of the piece that, um, here it is. I just gotta fix it. Cause I put, I made a string out of it. It's really delicate. So I try to be really careful with it, but that's a big, good chunk of it. A green, um, it's called an orange green opal. Look it up, it's really pretty. It's really rare too. It's hard to see because of, but I wanted to make, because it's very, they're very delicate. Well, opals are made with time, takes a long time. Something over time, right? Because opals are made with a long time collecting little pieces of sand, making them pretty colors of minerals. So something's been happening for a long time now. Or you're this piece of opal and little pieces of minerals, you know, to make something very beautiful over time. It took you a long time to be this little piece of opal here, pretty. You might have like green eyes. Okay. Some of this is a scheme card. So 7-Eleven, someone took a gamble. You took a gamble. Now, if this is a collective, you're ga if you took a gamble, then you're okay. Because you are very protected when it comes to this unjudged, this unfairness here. Now, does Libra took a gamble? Now, they might not be okay. That's why they're in the sixth house, perhaps, or Vertigo. Vertigo, Libra, Cusper, yeah. They definitely took a gamble. Scheming people, scamming people. Well, you took a good gamble and now you're gonna get some type of money. Thank you for that, Spirit. Okay. Let's see. Situation with ships. What, what, what? I'm sitting on it, Anna. Then I just have a, oh. Also, did I just not have a thing of tarot cards? Okay. Article cards. Let's see here what the sister question is about. My butt. I was like, my butt's talking. <laughs> my butt's talking to you, collector. Just kidding. Just kidding, collector. My butt's not talking to you. Why is it still talking? <laughs> okay. I already pre-shuffle these, but I always feel like I have to shuffle them again, which I don't know why, because you can't, you can't make this shit up when you're doing these readings. You really can't. You, there's no way. Like, um, people that are very, op um, you know, optimistic when it comes to tarot cards and readings you really cannot make this shit up because even if you get the cards you have to you really use your intuition anyways so anyways i don't know okay so pisces so falling the unknown descent moment change four so there could be a pisces or secret the house of information because this is something's unknown here something is not being seen Descent, Moment momentary change, falling. Someone is falling into the unknown or you fell into something unknown. You could be a life path number four, which is good because you're very ambitious, you're very driven. You look into the details of life. But I really feel like the with the twelfth house here with the Pisces, this is giving me the energy of there's something, some type of information that is like not being seen. 
I'm going falling to the unknown. Someone really is whole yeah, something's unknown here. Something isn't seen to us. But we'll get into it. What says Libra? And what says injustice? Reverse. There's a Libra, Vertigo, whatever, Cusper, Strange Encounters, Believe, 31. This is in reverse, though. Someone didn't believe you. Someone doesn't believe you. Okay. Some Or someone doesn't believe this Libra anymore. Because they're falling into the unknown. So falling and believe. Believe, falling and believe. Someone could be 31, born on the 31st. Strange encounters. Why am I getting this? Also, like, someone could have been ex wanting to sue. Someone was... Anyways, if you, if you want to get into the black magic in aspects of it, someone could have been trying to send some type of weird little demons to your house. Strange encounters. Or this person has seen strange encounters now. But this is just... Someone not believing you. When it comes to a relationship or whatever you're doing, someone doesn't believe you. Okay? Because this person, whoever this um, Libra is, especially if they're low vibrational, um, who gives a fuck why they don't believe you? But anyways, it's like because the, it's the unknown. You're the unknown to them. Look, here you are holding this little unicorn piece. You're a royalty. Your intuition is really has someone feeling some type of way. Because they're like, how do you know this shit? Or they just don't believe you. They're thinking that you're getting your information somewhere else. Leo energy. You had a Leo or nature communication. Flower energy, fairy energy, element of messenger, 37. Yeah, definitely like that air sign here. Someone could be 37. A lot of flowers here. Someone doesn't believe that you get your answers from like of the divine. Because they don't understand the unknown. This is a very fixed mindset. And this person was trying to scheme and scam, took a gamble to get a 7-Eleven, but while well, you did and now you're winning something out of this, this person lost. Yeah, because bam, shine bright like a diamond, like a candle. You make it through this, you will make this through this. You could be a damn artist, you could paint. Very ambition, very driven here, okay? Whatever your goals are, you put in action. This is why you're the Picasso right here, okay? Females sitting here with their little, you could have a picture with your little easels and stuff like that, okay? A dream. So here you are shining like a bright a diamond. 36. Someone could definitely be 36, 37. Oh, those ages. Okay. Born on the 4th. Born on the 31st. Or someone could be 31. Definitely April here. Or maybe February 4th. Saturn bringing chaos. So someone use their time wise. Yeah, use your time wise. Well, 24. Make every moment count. So somewhat Saturn, Mercury energy. Where's that Mercury card? I'm going to put this, these two together. Look, bam. Someone was not using their time wisely, trying to cause chaos. So you would, you would waste your motherfucking time here. But with Mercury and Saturn being here, it's like, use your time well. Make every moment count. Also, someone is being seen that they didn't use their time well. This person was trying to make a quick buck off of some type of scam. And they ran out of time. They don't believe that you get your information from the divine. Because they don't understand of the unknown. This person lacks the knowledge of like spirituality, of the divine, the seven layers of orders, right? It's like you can meditate and you tap into this, those seven layers. Okay? You could be a high priestess. This individual doesn't understand this type of stuff. If they say they do, they're lying. Yeah, this person, air sign, this person is having a hard time thinking and managing to be glad for you. 
with the skunks here there is some type of spiritual protection spiritual awareness create your own happiness regardless of the condition this person cannot be happy for you this air sign or air sign this person cannot be happy for you take it how it resonates i don't know why this like it's like they lost something they took a gamble they lost something and i don't know why it's your fucking problem maybe you said something You called something out? Stands for nonviolence, wisdom. A skunk um, symbolizes wisdom, patience, silence, valor, and self respect. You are calm, collected, okay? assertive, very charming, and self confident. If you're dreaming of a skunk, it generally points out your distance express of true intention. You're very self-confident here. You understand how energy works, and this individual doesn't. This is why they don't believe you get your powers from angels or fairies or whatever. Because this person, message from a rabbit, strive to an animal world. Look. Someone could be a zodiac rabbit, the white rabbit. Someone could be born on the 15th. Uh, someone could be 43. Someone could be 24. Or someone's not born on the 24th or the 6th, 15th. This person could work in the world of animals. Like, this person could work with animals. I hope not. The Sagittarius, or maybe, I don't know. They did something to an animal. The Sag I don't know. Anyways, message up for a rabbit. Someone's definitely withholding messages here. Okay, there's like three ways I'm reading this, okay? Someone does not believe, because here you are shining bright like a diamond. You are, you are of the unknown, okay? Falling to the unknown. And someone does not believe you get your answers from these um, fairies of the, you know, fairy energies, okay? And so they started using their time unwisely and they also ran out of time too here to bring chaos because this person cannot manage to be God for you. Trying to block messages here. There's something about blocking messages and information. Or this individual doesn't have the connection that you do with as, as well I'm seeing this. This person doesn't have the connection as you do to the divine. And maybe because they weren't using their time wisely, God is cutting that those that connection with those seven layers off. If this person was intuitive, they're not intuitive anymore. Because they took a chance, they took a gamble here. So I got my citron here. And I got another opal you might like to wear opals which is pretty cool they say it's bad luck if you're not born though this is not your first one but i still wear opals so this is a white boulder opal this is also real i don't know if you can see that it's pretty cool very pretty a white rainbow opal let's see what angels came out for you Hazel, you might have hazel eyes. One, Aries, driven, passionate, okay? It's like whoever I'm talking to, if you're a life at number four, you're very ambitious, very ambitious. And this person doesn't believe you or she's like, or he is hoping that no one will believe you. But this person didn't use their time wisely for some reason. So this is the first angel. Hazel is the angel of peace and kindness above all angels. He helps you peaceful, peaceful development, straightforward and meticulous communication. Told you that's that fourth life path number four, meticulous. Hazel is determined and therefore associated with the planet Uranus and colors turquoise and yellow. You might like to wear turquoise. Turquoise is very healing.
I'm going to turn this off so you can hear me better. Yellow. Okay, so yellow. So your joy, your compassion. So the situation was, here you are, falling in the unknown, being happy, okay, being driven, and someone wanted to cause you injustice here because you shine bright. I'm talking about you shine bright with your self-confidence and you're very self-independent. You're just independent energy. And you had a Libra. The only one that's in reverse is this Libra, okay? It doesn't have to be. They can have Libra in their chart or this person could be connected to Libra. But this person just feels like it's unfair, they don't believe you get your answers, uh, answers, your answers from the angels. Who gives a fuck? But they don't, okay? Because they have a hard time being happy for who you are, okay? Because this person is uh, annoyed with you, jealous. This could be an inf infidelity. This could be a third party situation. Intensity directly. Because here you are with new ideas, being peaceful, okay? Tiger eye. Tiger Eye is super good for protection. Okay. So you had Hazel come out showing your peaceful nature. All right. The Knight of Swords. D yeah. Destroys, burns all enemies when requested. Speak of creations of the world. Tells of past and future. Ew, someone's a rat. Someone could be a Zodiac, a Chinese Zodiac of a rat or a... Rabbit, take it, place it where you need to. Okay, so this angel came out to fight this demon, this rat demon, this whoever this knight of sword is. This someone did something on impulse. Someone did something in ego. Someone did something quickly. Action. It's like they saw you and they were just triggered right away. Because you took a gamble the right way. And this person, it feels like they, like they... Whatever scheme, paradigm, whatever they try to get, they didn't win. They didn't win here. Well, you're winning. Because this person doesn't know how to use their time wisely. Well, you do. And this person is hating. Knight of Swords. Destroys and burns all enemies when requested. This person wanted to destroy you, Collective. I don't know why. I don't get it. Like, this is a type of energy where it's like, they were just annoyed by you. Like, how dare the collective say that they get messages from the divine? Who gives a fuck? Why is it any of your business? I don't believe the collective. Do you believe that person? They're just a fake psychic. How can they be? No, 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 no. I'm the real psychic when this bitch probably never even, God, that has, obviously has no intuition because if you're psychic, if you're a life number seven, if you're seeing seven eleven. If you're protected, when injustice comes around, that tells me you have angels that back you up. Your sisters are dying. Off. This Libra Virgo has been coming out of my readings a lot. So this has to resonate with who, who I'm talking to. So someone did an impulsive action because you were kind. You're peaceful. So, uh, this is also a message of some type of news. This is news. Nine of Swords is news. Good or bad. So they got news that you're, that you fallen in the unknown and now you're shining bright like a diamond because this person's having a hard time accepting the fact that you get messages from the divine because they don't use their time wisely and that you're at peace. That's so fucking crazy. Who's this demon? My readings do get long, but I don't give a fuck. If you don't like my readings, then move the fuck on. But the collective that do like my readings, I love you, okay? No, if they're too long, just... I have a lot of shorts. So I try to put shorts out every day um, for you guys. And that's hard to do a reading in like 60 seconds, so... Let's see who this... Whore, I can't even pronounce this... Horus name? Ew, he's a rat. Someone's a rat. Someone is a rat. 
Now, if you want to talk about hood, this Vertigo Libra is ratting out people because they got some type of news. They're giving information to someone right now because they're a little rat with a little rat face. <laughs> Take it how it's okay. I need to shut up. I bet I piss people off. That's why I'm always trying to get. That's why uh, YouTube's always blocking fucked up comments. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Bro, I just want to know who the hell is. Why am I on Pinterest? Who is this? Uh, Bryce. Okay. It's also known as Floris Harvest, Strong Greek Duke of Hell. Oh, wait, str sorry. Strong Greek Duke of Hell within Christianity demonology. So he's 64 spirits, okay? The Great Duke. He's called the Great Duke. This person could have been a Duke in their past life. Horus has a type of Demon that were dedicated to fighting. Yeah, someone wanted to fight you. At an impulse, someone just wanted to be your enemy because here you have this angel Hazel that is just peaceful. This is ugly, a demon. Terribly strong, okay, so is seen in the form of a terrible strong leopard. This is a leopard? That's a leopard in a human shape. He's shrewd and terribly uh, contagious and fiery, I don't know. He's unweather turtle and feely of things present, past, and to come. You definitely know about things that are, yeah, all things and deceive and, uh, and other things belligerent in other business he gallery taken of the divine of the creation of the world and of the fall he's constrained by divine virtue and devils of spirits to burn and destroy all conjuring adversary he suffered the conjure not the tempt this must be from the bible because the way he's talking he's ranked as a duke a grand general ooh, a lieutenant a commander who's possibly serves under Andres, Andros, ooh, that's a bad demon too. He can, he, that Andros is like a demon of destruction, like to kill, to kill yourself. Now, if you're asking me how I know this, because I do study, as much as I study angels, I study demons, because I want to know how to protect myself. Duh. Fire and wrath will appear before his summons of the form of a leopard. However, his summons requests will take one form of a man with fiery eyes. Ooey. Someone has fiery eyes? Often in spite of a human humanoid with large claws. He's also symbols as passionate. So this is like a demon that has large claws. Ooh, fiery eyes that will look like a human. Ability to burn and destroy the enemies of ones who summons him. So yeah, someone was calling on, not even realizing they were calling on this demon to whatever you took a gamble in, whatever you were trying to make money off of, there was, a, could be an air sign that conjured on this little demon, a leopard demon, I thought it was a rap, it's a leopard, that is because trying to ruin your peace here. China, but you're at peace because the an angel, uh, uh Hazel came out and whipped this motherfucker's ass. Try to destroy the Galactus peace. See what happens. The hangman. Child. Someone trying to sacrifice you. Teaches natural and planetary science, light, course, lights above graves, and moves bodies so the souls may be stolen. Ooh, someone did something about a death certificate? Or graveyard magic? Literally, took a skin of another. Someone used a... 
Why is this coming through? Someone used a name that a person already passed away. Or they're hoping that you would have passed away and use your name. That's weird. Trying to sacrifice you? Mm. But Mer Mer Mem Membahal Mem Membahal came out with a scale of justice. The moon and the sun. Look at that. To bring balance into the situation. Yeah, someone could have been using um, graveyard magic or a death certificate of some sort or a fraud death or they used a fraud death certificate or something. Graveyard, someone wanted to switch places with you. That's so weird. Angel of Truth and Justice. There she is. Uh, Mem Bahel is an example of frankness, honesty, and lucidity. He warns you against jealousy and imbalance, harmony, and associated with the palette Venus and Mars, as well as the colors yellow and violet. Someone was very vulgar, very vulgar here, because you're intuitive. This person was jealous of your intuition. So they did something on impulse, but you had Hazel out here saying, no, 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 bringing peace because this person wanted to destroy your peace. And then they wanted to switch places with you. But this angel, um, Manbell warned this individual, gave this person a warning. Stop being jealous of the collective. Stop this jealousy. Stop this enemy is. This person did not, this did not listen to the warning. Mm -mm, they didn't. They did not listen to the damn warning. Nemia, Nem, Nemima, Nemima. I always say this one. Nemma, 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 I can't say it. Nemma, Nemma. Anyways, this angel came out and is going to balance everything out here. Now, you, right now, you have someone finding some type of injustice. Maybe the justice system knows about some type of fraudulent. Um, because this person tried to sacrifice you, the hangman energy, they literally put a lot of uh, challenges in your obstacles or they put challenges in their obstacles and now they're stuck in it and they have to see what they did. Because this angel came out and is like, no, nah, I gave you a warning. I'm going to sit your ass down and you're just jealous of the collective. That's the only reason why you're behaving this way. Out of pure jealousy and everyone else knows this person is jealous of you. 13 can be significant. Again, someone's born on the 16th for sure. Na Memaha is the angel of organized action, prosperity, and inventiveness. A tactical and far-sighted angel, he leads you to success by remaining loyal, honest, and upright. Yeah, so you have this this angel. So why you're gonna get this a windfall of money and this person that took a gamble try to get this money, trying to use some type of death certificate or some shit like that? Graveyard magic, this person took a big big gamble here. Now this person lost. Big time. And everyone sees you because you've been honest through this whole situation. Too many, but this one came out. Because Queen of Pentacles, make one wise and teaches everything. Can churn any metal into gold, transmute water into wine. Taurus energy. So this is not even bad. Here you are, this Queen of Pentacles. Or a Taurus or Earth sign could have been trying to do something here as well. Trying to make, uh, trying to tr transmute water into wine. Trying to make metal into gold. Trying to, there's something fraud here. Because this Queen of Pentacles could be selfish and all they care about is money. Living a, lux or a luxurious life on other people's dimes. Ooh, if someone is using spirituality to pay their way in life or some type of spiritual practice, that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. That person is like, God is going to punish that person. 
because you have to have nothing but the pure intent and you have to be chosen. I mean, yeah, you take donations and stuff like that from people, but you don't go because you do it to have a luxury life, to travel the world, to, you know, pay your means and ways. Like, mm -mm. like I said, a real healers that I know, they're people that like they lived on the bad side of town in this little house, you know, making ends meet, but they were healing people. That's, that's, those are God's people, okay? This is the president of hell. So you have a general and a president. He makes men wise by instructing them in every subject. So, big bull, wings of... This was the one of Solomon's spirits. Yeah, this is one of the ones that Solomon would call on. Hang, hang GT, hang GT. Okay, in the higher, he's the president ruling 33 legions of demon. Ooh, okay. He makes instruction in them everyone subject, transmute all metals into gold, change the water into the spirit signifies luxury. I just said that word luxury. Someone was trying to use spirituality for luxury. This person did something fraud. Here, this person sacrificed themselves, and God is, I feel like, ooh, this person took a gamble doing that. Trying to use, um, try, taking people's money for, like, saying, oh, I'll heal you. Oh, I'll be, a, like, uh, I'll get these messages. But this person does not get messages from the divine. They're not connected that way because they're too, they're too, they're like a scheme energy. It's like a scheme, like someone that's a false Medicine woman, shaman, something like that. Sorry that took so long, but I just wanted to... That's just what we had to do. <laughs> like, I can't really apologize for it. I mean, sometimes I just... The pre has to... I'll do a short little read, so the uh, tarot cards, but... That's just sometimes the way the cookie crumbles, you know? You know what I mean, jelly beans. Okay, then I got my black labradorite and some, so, um, cannot say the word now. So, let's, anyways, to increase the energy of the psychic abilities on these cards. Okay, silicon. How am I gonna say it now? Anyways, total brain fart. Okay. What happened in the past? I'll do a few and then I'll end it because I don't want to make this too long for you guys. So in the past, you have someone that wasn't protecting themselves. Someone wanted to isolate you and make you feel lonely because of some type of wealth. Again, that's being returned back to you with the hangman in reverse. is obsessed with your energy obsessed this person works with the devil devilish toxic as fuck obsessed with a contract that you have so this person wanted to isolate you make you feel lonely with the nine of wands hoping that you wouldn't overcome anything by attacking you saying that you don't get your messages from the divine when this person doesn't this person took a big gamble here with those devil energies. So this person is like obsessed with you. Bound to the devil. Capricorn energy. Again, this could be a Capricorn. That was hoping to um, transmute money. Trans, trans, transfer money into accounts. With Sagittarius, maybe overseas. Seven of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles because there's a, a thief. Someone's a thief. Someone's a scammer. So, in the past, someone wanted you to be wishing that you won't overcome something. Now this person is obsessively doing something. In secret, this, oh my god, the devil and the Seven of Cups? This person is fucking delusional. That 
is a bad combination right there, Collective. This person is like a out of their fucking mind energy. This is crazy. This person, the, okay. The, yeah, that's, wow. This person is fucking a nut job. Hoping that you want to overcome something. Ooh. So this person is in secret right now, just delusional. Like, like, might have a, like, a mental disorder. And the challenge is that this person is not working hard. This person doesn't know how to work hard. This person does not know how to commit to something that they stole. <laughs> that everybody else knows about this. Someone stole something from you. Or they stole something from something. There's a lie here. Infidelity. There's a cheater. A scammer. Someone that tried to take, uh, try to make a quick buck off of you. Off of your energy. Okay? Uh, but this person, obstacle was that they don't know how to work at it. <laughs> they could have just been like, oh, let me just conjure on a couple of demons and, oh, I'll get the collective there. This person's a fucking nut job. So it's like this feeling like someone thought they had some type of control over your energy. They're like, oh, I overpower the collective. Sure you did. Fucking weirdo. This bitch didn't, or ma'am, or whatever. They didn't. They didn't. When it comes to stealing, stealing from you. And everyone else sees this person in their environment as nothing but a fucking cheater. Scammer. A thief. A liar, a phony. Who? Yeah, will of fortune in reverse. This person was put you, try to put you on the bottom of the wheel, hoping that you would not return on the top. But they don't understand about the wheel of fortune. The wheel, the wheel is always fucking churning. Okay. So even if they did get you in this energy, you're like, yeah, no. Because you did something that was of the unknown and now you're shining bright. And you have those three angels that came out that made you look nothing. You did this in a very peaceful and graceful way. Okay, to turn yourself back on the top of the wheel. And uh, everyone also through the whole thing, you have that angel, Nam Namia, Namia, that made sure you did it the honest way. Well, this individual doesn't do anything honestly. This person was causing a lot of misfortunes in your life. I mean, they did, they didn't use their time wisely. Just like all the reading said in the beginning. This person did not use their time wisely when it came to causing misfortunes and trying to isolate you, hoping that you wouldn't overcome something because this person is obsessed with you. Toxic as fuck. Capricorn, this is a fixed sign for sure. Capricorn, Vertigo, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Definitely Aquarius with Seven of Swords. Clarifying. This wanted to come in the reverse, and I'm going to take it as that. So you have a King of Wands, male or female. This is a not a natural born leader. Someone that's not chosen from the divine. Someone that is uh, that energy of a quick schemer. Like this is an individual that is scams people. Okay, now I'm not getting the lustful energy. This is an individual that literally will say, oh, I'll heal you or I'll put some black magic on the collective. This is a fake person that will take money from people and say that they like this. I don't know. This is so crazy. Hold on. There's so many coming. There's so much messages coming through. Okay. You had people out there saying, I will get the collective. Give me $100 and I'll do it for you. But this person doesn't have the connection to the divine. They might have connections to those demons, but you're highly protected. Those three angels that came out for you, okay, like made sure it was like whatever they tried to self-destruction, they did impulsively with the nine of swords. You're that angel, uh, that first angel, Hazel, was like, nah, peace, 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 peace. Peace be with you, Okay. That's his uh, Wheel of Fortune energy. And now this Queen of Pentacles, or who is this King of freaking Wands in reverse? This individual 
is not a natural born leader. And this is why they're so obsessed with you because they know you get your messages from the divine. They know you are the real deal and they're not. Who's the king of wands? That Libra vertigo. Should I carry on? Like this is, that's who this person is. This person is a, um, this person is in a lot of trouble. Okay. If they were saying that they're getting messages from the divine or they're some type of shaman, spiritual person, just to live a luxury life so they could go on trips on other people that are sick and need help, real help. This person is going to hell. You don't con people that need God's help. You don't do that. But on the side, this person is like using black magic to make this illusion. Because the devil talks about with the seven of cups, there's a lot of illusions here. Devilish, black, dark illusions. Making the clay, those people, it's like, mm. It's like, this is a, a shaman, a medicine person that was using black magic on their fucking collective, making us thinking that they had something going on there. So they could just go on cruises or pay for their house or pay, yeah, live a luxury life. That is sick. That is sick. And this person will, and then... Heavenly Father, whoever this Libra Vertigo, whoever this person keeps coming on my reading, I hope and I pray, not because I want some bad karma, because I don't, that's not my job, God. Mm -mm. That's your job, and I know that. I just want justice for the collective and justice for this individual's collective, because this person has been using dark energies, dark entities to fool their collective that they were healing them. That's wrong. Okay, so I'm just asking Heavenly Father, can you please let this person be seen for the fake, phony, not natural born leader that they are? That is so fucked up. This person is crazy. Secretly, in delusion, thinking that they're, I don't know, collective. This is fucking wild. This person thinks that they get messages from the divine, the Nine of Swords. And they are again. This person in secret. This is scary because this person is doing something in secret about some type of news, trying to deliver some type of news. This person is doing something like reaction quickly, obsessing over you because they're causing you a lot of misfortune and um, hoping that you would overcome it in the past. This person is in their ego. This person is going to do something fucking dumb. I can already tell. They're going to do something dumb because, I don't know. The devil and the seven of cups. This could be a Capricorn as well. This, this is, this is a, people are fucking delusional. Oh my God. <laughs> this person is sick in the head. The obstacles is that, that seven of cups. This person is very, this is a very dangerous individual. Okay. And this person comes off like they're not. This is crazy. <clears throat> there's someone that really has a mental disorder. I'm not a doctor, but um, it's not funny, but this person is very sick in the head. There's something wrong with this person. Thinking that there are some, this person thinks they're uh, a leader or some sort. This is coming through as well. So there could be a, Someone that thought that they, they're a leader of some sort, a king of wands, but they're not. And this person was using a death certificate or something about a death certificate. They did something to switch names on a certificate, on a documentation. And um, the, he could have been with this Libra, Vertigo, Capricorn. These are signs. And or Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. Yeah, they did something very on a quick decision when it came to sacrificing you and using your name. Maybe they put your name on a death certificate. 
Because they're trying to steal some type of money. Oh, good Lord. There's some sick people out here. The temperance in reverse. Okay. So everyone knows this person is fucking off their rocker. <laughs> okay. That's at least a good thing. Everyone sees that this person is totally off their fucking rocker. Totally delusional. Totally bad. And they're a thief. Okay. So that's good. This person could be wanting to travel, but they can't. This person does, oh, they, this person is like irritable. Like this person has a short temper, not patient, not like, ugh. This person is crazy. Like this is a weird energy. This is weird. And this person is obsessed with you. This person could have just got back from traveling. And everybody knows them. And it's like they got they got back from a trip and now everyone sees them as a thief. That's wild. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Oh, but you got this King of Cups. Okay, so <clears throat> You had a king of cups. This could be a cancer, Scorpio. What's the other water sign? I can't think of right now. Scorpio, cancer, Pisces. That wanted to cause you a lot. Or the reason why these people wanted to cause so much misfortune in your life. Say I'm talking to a divine feminine. You had a king of cups in your energy. And this is why everyone went. <laughs> so make sure that you would not overcome shit. Because maybe this king of cups wanted to be with you. Or this King of Cups wanted to cause all this misfortune, but they're trying to pretend to be something that they're not. And that's the reason why they're on the upright, masking their energy. Who's this fucking King of Cups? This guy, I don't care if this reading will take three motherfucking hours. We'll get to the bottom of this. I don't care. We'll get to the fucking bottom of this because there is something weird about this. That whole shit pisses me off about that one. Strong. Someone taking money for uh, to try to say they overpowered the collective, but they didn't. That's just crazy. This is a low vibrational Gemini. I told you. So there's a low vibrational Gemini out there that was causing a lot of misfortune in your energy. Making sure that you want to overcome something. And this person did something fraud with a death certificate or a marriage certificate okay because they wanted to be on top of the will but not really that the will of fortune bitch goes <laughs> so if you're over here doing stupid shit where is god gonna place you on the bottom of the will oh where's the collective up here no shit <laughs> Now this person's on the bottom of this low, low vibrational Gemini who's been watching you, obsessed with you, could have uh, paid a, a king of wands, a vertigo Libra, or someone that's connected to this vertigo Libra to do some type of shit to you, to cause you nothing but misfortune. These people are fucking weirdos. Hoping that you wouldn't overcome over all this. Bam, shakalaka. But justice, remember, seven of clubs out there, you will have justice balance things out when things are judgmental. What did it say again? It says when there is a judgment or misplaced judgment, right, out there for you, things will be balanced out for you because you work hard and you're honest because you have that angel out there that is showing the world that you're an honest, hard worker, Okay. So now the justice system, something legal here. This is karma justice, justice karma, whatever you want to call it. This is the divine balancing all this fucking shit out. Because there's a lot of unbalanced shit here. There's a lot of unbalanced people here. That are out of their damn mind. Very toxic. And you have that angel, what was that angel's name again? Anyways, I can't, think, I can't remember right now, but that angel came out here, remember, was like, hey, I'm warning you. 
This angel right here is warning people, you're being jealous, you're being envious, you need to back the fuck up. If not, you're gonna get it bad. Cause this is gonna, this is gonna be a harsh justice right here. But these people are just can't let go of it. They can't let go of this contract. They can't let go of your energy. Capricorn, Libra, Pisces. So in the past, you could have had a Gemini, low vibrational Gemini, that teamed up with a, definitely a Vertigo, maybe a Leo, maybe a, a, an Aquarius, maybe a Taurus, to cause you a lot of um, uh, a misfortune. To make sure you wouldn't overcome this. Because these people were obsessed. This king of wands, whoever, this vertigo. Then that vertigo, Libra, got obsessed with you. Or about a contract. And now this person is caught up with the legal system. Like right now as we speak. This Libra vertigo. They're fucking caught up. Now they got, they could have got a message or something in the mail and they're not telling people about it. And this person really thinks that they did something right in the situation. <sighs> Cannot make this shit up, collective. Ah, this person's going to jail. But here they are sitting here. They're like, okay, I'll go to jail. I was still right in the situation. This is how fucking crazy this is. <laughs> this is how cuckoo she is, or he is. This person is like, with the king of swords, is, ugh. so in secret, this person is mentally trapped in their head, knowing that they're going to go to jail, but they're in this energy of, well, I was right. There's no way I could go to jail. I didn't do nothing wrong with the nine of swords. Okay. Cause they could have got a message or something saying that you're in trouble or something triggered this person to do something impulsive now. Because this person is out of their goddamn gore. Delusional, thinking that they were right. So now they're doing something impulsive. Ugh. Or they did something impulsive to try to get you locked up. But the justice system is like, sees that this person's fucking crazy. Take it how it resonates. This could be definitely that Gemini with the King of Swords or Knight of Swords with the Eight of Swords. So now the obstacle is these, uh, oh man, this is so crazy. Someone has a mental disorder. I feel like someone says they're going to tell the, ju the justice system that they're crazy. Like they're going to take a, they want a plea agreement that's saying, oh no, 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 no. I was, I'm not well, or this is, this bitch is manipulative. There's someone out there that thinks that they could get away with something by calling insanity. And don't get me wrong, this person's crazy, but they know exactly what they were doing when it came to, like, sacrificing you or whatever. Like, and I don't think the justice system's gonna believe this bitch. Fuck no. I don't like it cigarettes. Oh, my God, this reading's long. I'm sorry, Collective. I'll do uh, one more set, and then I'll, I'll end it. But I just, I really wanted to get into this reading. Okay? Because, yeah. Just know that you're getting justice here. So the challenge is that this person cannot rest because they know all their options are, or they don't know. Take out resonates. I don't know. This person doesn't think that they, they're off. Like, they didn't want to work hard. Okay, this, oh, man, this person is just, I don't can't explain this person. So the obstacle is that this person can, is very uneasy, not resting, delusional, can't self actualize Like, this person cannot get a grip that they didn't work or they didn't commit to the situation. Like, they didn't do enough. Like, the obstacles is like, well, we didn't do enough. Like, why Why didn't we do this? Why didn't we do that? We should have done this and this and that. 
Because they could have got a letter already in the mail from the justice system. And now this person's going to have to go. And they know once they walk into that courtroom, they're going to get locked up. So they can't travel anywhere either. The courts might have said, don't leave town. Or this person just got back from vacation. And the courts is like, took this person's visas, passports. is like, you cannot leave town. And everyone knows this person is not an angelic fake earth angel. Everyone knows that this person was so critical when it came to you. It's like this person just cannot stop thinking, talking about you, criticizing you, hoping that they wouldn't be judged. Hoping that judgment won't be called. This is crazy. This person is going to walk into that courtroom and think that everything's fine and done. Dude, this is wild. This is crazy. This person thinks that if they're, it's okay. I'll go to the courtroom. And I just have to explain this, this, and that. And I will not have to be judged because I'm me. Bitch, are you, del motherfucker, are you crazy? Yeah, obviously you, you are. Everybody is like, now this person feels like they're being judged for being a thief and being like overindulging. Someone just came back from a trip. I just saw it in reverse. How many times do we have to do this? This Gemini was really blocking messages from you to cause you misfortunes. Someone was like, you could have got something in the mail here. But this person, or, or an email or something, and this Gemini, I don't know how, they could have been using technology, blocked that message from coming through and hoping that you wouldn't see it, hoping that you wouldn't overcome the situation. That she'd be stuck in this misfortune. But now justice is here. And the justice system knows about this news. This is like, they all they wanted to do was deliver bad news to you. Okay. This is a very ego, this is a narcissist. This is a, a woman that thinks, this is a woman that doesn't work hard. This is a woman thinks that they could just sit on their throne and people could just give them money for being a fake phony bitch. The justice system knows about this empress in reverse giving money to this king of wands and to this king of wands people because this emperor in reverse which is this king of cups is like this person wants to be seen as that they're emotionally mature okay like they're they're very nice and sweet but the just everyone's everyone knows now the justice system especially knows that this person is not that they were just trying to make some type of quick buck here this is like a scammer this could be a karmic mother, lover. Take it how it resonates. It's like this king of wands. Uh, mother? No, this is a king. This person hired this king of wands, I think. This empress energy. Yeah, this empress energy hired this king of wands. And the justice system knows about it because they know that they're just fucking obsessed with you. Someone, they could have got some type of messages in secret so the justice system receives some type of messages about this delusional person and they're planning on locking this person up in secret cannot make this shit up you defeated this person whoever this dark feminine energy out here is okay so there is someone out there that hire a dark spiritualist, whoever this emperor reverses and this king of wands. They hired someone that was just taking their money that said, oh, I could overpower the collective. I could cause this person so much bad luck. <laughs> Give me $100, okay? These people just wasted their time, okay, with this um, high priestess in reverse, okay? Because this person lacks the intuition. They don't, they don't have, they scam people, okay? And now these people feel defeated because they hired that high priestess. Yeah, 
hoping that they won't get investigated. Vertigo energy right there. And everything's getting returned. The justice system is like, whew, these people are stuck. And I'm telling you right with again, bam, look it. That came out earlier. Remember Ace of Pentacles to the hangman? Look, your job opportunity, your this Ace of Pentacles is getting returned back to you. And the justice system is gonna make sure this Empress pays it back. If not, the 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 state or will pay you, and this Empress is gonna have to pay for it. Whoa, 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 there's too many. Yeah. Oh my god, this fish is crazy. This fish has been stalking you from the beginning. Gossiping about you. Impulsively. Obsessively. This person just cannot keep your name out of their fucking mouth collective. Watching you. Stalking you. Got other people to do it, too. This is wild, dude. Hoping that you won't over overcome over your misfortune. Now, the justice system is going to make sure whoever this empress... So, this empress is also... Who's this empress in reverse? Who's this empress in reverse? That earth sign. Okay, um, there's a Capricorn, Taurus, Vertigo, Libra Vertigo. Who's this King of Wands again? Okay, is this Vertigo, this King of Wands energy? This Empress, is this Empress in reverse the same as this King of Wands energy? Yeah, so um, this Empress reverse, again, this is that Vertigo, Libra. Keeps coming out in the readings, okay? That teamed up with a, a low vibrational Gemini <clears throat> that wanted to be seen as a very, you know, sweet and kind. Okay, these people were stalking you, gossiping about you out of impulse. Like, they could have just saw you and just and possibly did it. Just to cause you a lot of misfortune, hoping that you won't overcome that situation. And now, if these people stole something, it's being returned back to you. The justice system is going to make sure that it's paid. So this person feels defeated. Who's Is this high priestess another individual? No, this high priestess is, is this Libra Vertigo, huh? So this is a Libra Vertigo that is a dark spiritualist that takes money from the collective saying that they will heal them or that they get messages from the divine trying to live a luxury life and they teamed up with a Gemini or a low vibrational Gemini. Okay, so they just... This is all about this Vertigo Libra, huh? Yeah. Capricorn? Is there a Capricorn involved in this situation? Yeah, this is just that Libra Vertigo, huh? This person is standing alone now. There's no one connected to this person. This per With the Nine of Wands in reverse, this person is alone now. Feeling defeated because these people could have got a message about they're going to go to jail, so everyone left this person alone. They're not talking with the Gemini in reverse. It's telling me that um, there's um so there's that could be a Gemini involved, but and but this Vertigo Libra people are not communicating with this person because they know the justice system knows about this stalking slander energy. So now this person is fucked, and everyone is just done with this person. So the obstacles is that you're victorious and everyone sees it. And this person is feeling very uneasy, unrested, delusional, and they feel like they can't get nothing done. Feeling defeated because they're using black magic, saying that they were some type of healer and they're not. This is so wild. 
This person steals from the... It's like, yeah, four wands. This person could be losing a lot. <clears throat> they could be losing a home. This person is not happy in their environment because you're winning. Now this person is hoping because they don't want to be judged. Because look, you overcame all this. Standing in honesty. One more and we'll end it. So the situation is there's a dark spiritualist. This Virgo Libra it doesn't have, I don't know. Yeah, and people now are working with you. People now want to work with you, Collective, and help you overcome the situation. You're going to be getting your justice here. And this vertigo is getting locked up for stealing from the poor or people that were sick. Anyways, I hope those messages help. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.